is hmm? uh, what we call linear propulsion. And this is the one we have proposed to end spirals. This is the basic motion. Now, in order to launch a rocket, you'd have to have a, a, a much bigger wheels and so forth and so on. As a matter of fact, the one gyro that I was looking at that NASA had was almost as big as this room. And I think this would be about the, the same kind of thing. But okay, now, what we do is we show that when we operate this thing, there's just no, you know, it's like it's, it's just dead. Now, when we start to spin, basically what we have is we'll bend the plane of rotation, and then we're allowing this precession to work while we bring this other uh, major arc, I call it a major arc in the beginning. So now what we have is with a very little bit of motion of this one, and barely even allowing this to just do it itself. Now, that produces a tremendous speed, and the way this worked was when we put this intervening arc in. Now, if we hold these together and we work it, we're back to being dead. No gyroscopic, just like the original. Never moved. This didn't move. And it took me, believe it or not, as dumb as I am, 16 years before I finally realized that, hey, we have to put an intervening motion. But I don't know that anybody else has done it. So now we have a nice, very nice action. And we can really make it go. And again, I think, you know, this is again what this principle, this is embryonic, that we propose to match this game-changing technology through the uh, Inspires uh, program.